and welcome back to the final part in getting your prop to test and upload to the controller and do a live test. The, the goal here is to um, make it easy for you to physically see that whenever you tell the prop or the model to do this in x -Lite, to go up or to go down or to go left and right, to make sure that your prop is actually set up the right way in x -Lite and it's doing things the way that you want it to do it or it's supposed to do it. Uh, so in part four, we'll talk about the controller upload and the live testing. And a couple notes just before we begin. For demo purposes, models are already connected to the controller outputs, as I said earlier. Uh, we are assuming that you have the uh, X-Lights models ready to go and ready to test, um, meaning everything's plugged in. You've already plugged everything in. And your props have been giving, given a start channel, a controller output assignment, and so forth. Uh, if not, please go back and watch part three of this video. And then we're going to get started with uploading controller configurations. So let me pop this out of the way because we don't need to see me. Um, we're going to, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that output to lights is turned off. One thing that most people don't realize is when they're in the controller tab, that if output to lights is turned on, then our functionality of uploading from the control or from X lights into the controller, those are grayed out and they can't get in there. You can't go in there to do your upload. It won't let you. So if, if your buttons are grayed out, the reason why they're grayed out is because you probably have upload to control or uh, the uh, I'll put the lights turned on. Uh, another interesting thing, if if you didn't see it in the first video, I'll point it out here real quick. Uh, when the controller is properly connected to uh, the um, network and the computer can uh, the X lights can see it uh, then you'll see this little faux LED uh, button or LED light will light up whenever you select one of these um, controllers and you'll get to see this when we physically go in and do the demo uh, if you do click on um, a controller and it doesn't light up that means that X lights cannot see it so you might have a bad network cable or it's not connected uh, so just double check your connections um, viewing the controller configurations, uh, what, we'll, what we'll do is we'll start by, we can, we can open up every single controller. Now, we did that in, I believe, the uh, second video. We, we opened up and looked at to verify that each of those controllers uh, had a different IP address than what we're about to upload. And the reason for that is so that we have an easy access to get into and quickly view or verify that the controller is set up. So you can do this by double clicking on any controller or you can also select one controller here and then click the open button and you're able to do that as well. Note that the Pixlite uh, 16 and the Pixcon 16, those don't have graphic user interfaces. They uh, use a separate application to access their setup page. Uh, I use the Advitech Assistant uh, to check the Pix lights. I did that in an earlier video. So just a heads up. Uh, and also something I didn't add in here is there's a delete button. If you um, put the wrong controller in, you can always select the controller and click the delete button here, or you can use the delete key on your keyboard. So after we have gone through and we've uploaded every one of the controllers after that step is done, we can go in then and create a brand new sequence. Now this is really, really simple. This is kind of the wham bam part of it. And what we'll do is we'll click create new sequence, which is this icon right here. The next thing that'll pop up is this sequence setting screens. So we'll click on the green animation and then we'll click done. That's all we have to do. That's basically, that's basically it. Now this is, this is kind of a hodgepodge, but try to follow me. You have, uh, the first thing I do is I always put a timing mark down. So I'll set my cursor down here on the timing grid here and then I'll hit the lowercase letter uh, T and what that does is that places a timing mark here. Once the uh, timing mark is placed uh, I place uh, the bars effect on the model and I just grab it from up here and I click and drag it down. Now typically when you create a new sequence the two colors that are selected are white and red. Um, I like to put three on. You could use red, white, and green, whatever you want. It just, just know that, and also bars defaults into the up direction. So you should see the bars moving from the bottom to the up position on the model. And that's the way it should be. Uh, and then finally, the last thing that you need to do very simply is click the output to lights, light bulb icon up here in the top right. So with that being said, just so you know, you can also run 
an, an entire X Lite sequence uh, off of X Lights. Um, not something you expect to do during the season, but um, I have definitely done this before. Whipped out a sequence real quick, rendered it, and played it on the laptop while I stood back and checked the show, just to make sure that it was uh, that it was working okay. But um, but you certainly can do this. Um, I, I'm sure many people don't, but you can. You can render an entire sequence and run it. So finally, um, we're going to go ahead, jump in, and we're going to upload to controller, and then we're going to test with the X Lite sequence, and we'll show you that demo right about. Now, so we'll go ahead and click save on the layout tab. We'll go into controllers and there are two ways to upload. Now, there, there are the upload inputs and the upload outputs. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to tell the controller, hey, I'm this set of IP address, or I'm sorry, I am this set of universes. That's the first thing you have to tell the controllers is what it's to listen for. And so this is the Falcon here. Wait, nope, this is the 6804 controller. This is the SAN devices. I'm going to go ahead and click the upload input. And as I do, it's going to, down here on the bottom left, it's going to say uploading import or uploading inputs. And it says SAN device input upload complete. So the, the next thing that we'll do is we'll, we can visualize, we can hit the visualize button here, and we can see that we have the bow model, which is over. Um, and you can't see me in the video. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There we go. Let me see if I can put that up there. There we go. Um, <coughs> you can see that the bow model is right over my left shoulder there. That's the little far left. And, um, or right if you're looking at me. Uh, you can see that it's assigned to port one. So that would be the goal is to make sure that we have 75 pixels assigned to port number one on the SAN devices. So we'll go ahead and click the upload output. Notice the green fake LED there. I love that. We'll go ahead and click that. And the SAN devices are, are uh, known for having uh, an older firmware, but it's still quite capable. It does the job, but um, it takes longer to upload these. So if you have a SAN devices E6804 or 682, they take longer. Um, than just a than just a standard Falcon does, or even the Pix lights, um, or the Pocket Beagles and and the the FPPs and so forth. So just be patient whenever you're doing anything with the SAN device controller. It does take a little longer, and then we can verify and double check by clicking the open button after we've selected it, and it just popped up on the screen over here. 75 pixels. And if we click on the show main page, it should be 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So 60 through 64 are our universes. And so x Lights is uploaded correctly to this controller. Now, another thing that we can do is we can go up here to the tools menu, and we can use the bulk controller upload. This is helpful if you have multiple Falcons, let's say, and you want to upload all the Falcons all at one time. You can go through the list, click on all your Falcon controllers, and you can upload them. I don't think you can mix. I'm not, I'm not sure about this. I don't think you can mix them all. I don't think it will do all of them. Um, but if they're all the same, it can do th them all the same. I may be wrong on that, um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the case. You're wrong on that. Scott? It, it was. I, I remember it being an issue at one point. So again, I, 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 so we can we can try that. We'll do all three of them since Scott says they do upload. Um, but this should this should cover both the upload input and the upload output. It should do both for you. Is that correct, Scott? It should do it all in one long shot. We'll go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah. Hey guys. Well, it's the next day and. I interrupted my own video, and I've never done that before, but it's important that I do. Because what you're about to see is where things go slightly sideways as we are doing the upload to controller. I make the decision here to be just a little bit more cavalier and do a full upload. And it's the only thing that I can point to in the events last night that would cause to happen what happened. And... Uh, Eventually, you're going to see that we lose communications with a controller. I kind of had to fight with it. Now, um, I'm leaving this content in here because I want everybody to realize that there are times that things are going to happen. Things are going to go wrong. 
and you're going to make a mistake. Things are just not going to come out picture perfect, just like from the washer to the dryer. Life isn't always that easy. But if you realize that sometimes you have to deal with mistakes or sometimes you have to deal with an issue, just remember that all you have to do is work through it. It's just one more piece of the puzzle. I was able to get the Pixlite 16 controller back up and running. I didn't do that in this video because I wanted to continue and I wanted to give uh, and finish out what I started to do. So what you're about to watch is the rest of the story afterwards, which was a little bit longer. Uh, I usually do edit these down, but I think I'm just going to leave it right the way it is because you need to see that sometimes we all have to struggle, including me. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you do, hit the like button, and we appreciate you. So it shows the Falcon. It did the Falcon. And it's done with the Falcon. Upload warning. Model spinner lollipop use, uses channels not being sent to this controller. So we have to go look at the lollipop and see what's going on with it. Um, and let's see. Done upload. The V3. The Pocket Beagle. And the Pixlite 16. So, so we can close that. Let's go look at the Avatech. I'll pop that open real quick. <coughs> trying to get to the Avatech assistant here. There we go. And we'll refresh the adapters. We'll search. Hmm. And it doesn't want to find it. That's odd. Try it again. Search, and it's not coming up. Now, oh, it just worked a couple seconds ago. That's okay. We'll pop back onto X lights here. We'll double. We'll double click on the the Falcon, or the um, yeah, that's the Falcon. And here is the Falcon. The string ports should say there's the star it's on universe 30 and the star should be on universe 30 if we click on visualize there's the star 90 pixels we're good to go pocket beagle we'll double click on it we'll go to input output channel outputs and we'll go to beagle, beagle bone strings it says the spinner lollipop that's the um, absolute address and that's the pixel count which is 50 and that should work just fine. And then what's the last one? The Pixlite 16. Which it doesn't, I know that won't open, but that's kind of odd. I'm just going to push that again, upload the outputs again. It unable to connect to it. That is rather odd. We'll delete it. We'll start over again. Discover. Yeah, 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 yeah. Discover. Huh. Just reboot it. I will. It's a good idea. I just have to find the extension cord for it. Four controllers, four different extension cords. Well, the Falcon has like a bunch. And it did show up earlier. Well, 
looks like I lost my uh looks like I lost my Well, this is what happens when you use 12 volt controllers, I guess. <laughs> Boo. You stop that talk right now, Mr. Hey, 12 volt Everything else is running off of 5 volt. I don't have any trouble with those. Try unplugging it, plugging it. Did you try unplugging it again? Could it be the... Can't be that cord. It's a brand new cord and I just had it running. All right, so from this point, we're going to... We're going to disregard these two snowflakes because, for whatever reason, the Pixelite controller is offline and will not come back up. So, I do have three other awesome little props behind me over my left shoulder, your right side. And uh, we've already uploaded them to the controller. And we'll go ahead and click on the Sequencer tab. We're going to click on New Sequence. We're going to click on Animation and click Done. Up here, I'm going to put a timing mark in by using the lowercase letter T is in Tom. Thank you. And we'll go ahead and grab the bar's effect. We'll place it on, let's go with the bow. Now, the, the last thing that we need to do is, and I, I don't know if you can see it over my shoulder, but hopefully you can see that there is some lights flashing, which there definitely is. My fan's right over my shoulder, so makes it a little hard so we can we can grab another bars effect and place it down here on the star and yep definitely looks like they're working uh, looks like uh, I could use some power injection so to solve that problem we can come down here in the um, in the brightness tab we can turn these down see them a little better they might be dim on the screen but you can definitely see them over there so they're not hogging all that electricity. Yeah, you can definitely see them going on. And then um, you can also click on the effect, and you can click the down button. And you can see, let's see. Oh, isn't the lollipop working? So here we got an issue where the, where the lollipop isn't working. Lollipop should be, let's, let's double check. Let's look at our, our paper here. Uh, the lollipop should be on. Let's see. The pocket beagle, which is on the first output. So let's go back here, click on the lollipop. Let's make sure it's on dot seventy, and it is on the correct output. Let's uncheck output the lights. Let's go ahead and click on the pocket beagle. Move this up out of the way, and we'll go ahead and upload the outputs. Was it supposed to be a dot seventy or dot one seventy? Dot one seventy. FPP complete. Oh. So the the lollipop is definitely on there. That's good. Let's go back to the layout and make sure we're outputting to lights and now it's working look at that and it looks like it's working just fine just needed re-uploaded that was all so unfortunately the controller went down for the pix light i can't get it back up and i don't have any other 12 volt controllers up here um those are all put away in storage other than this one so um i really wanted to show you guys that i thought that was really awesome that that uh, these two snowflakes here. I've had them going. Rob knows that we've we've done that. So, um, other than other than our failed controller, unfortunately, we had a hiccup in time. But that's okay. Life goes on. Uh, it just goes to show you, you should have a spare controller ready at all times. You never know when something might happen where it does not want to come back up, and uh, you should have a spare. Uh, all the goals tonight. Um, I hope that. The videos that you guys are watching are helpful, and if you like them, make sure you give us a big like. 
Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to the PPD YouTube channel. Um, guys, I'm going to let you go for now. And if you're in the Zoom room, stay, stay where you are uh, because the video is done. We'll see you guys next time uh, that we have a, another webinar. You're welcome to join us anytime.